Boop. Um, that was kind of a bitch right there because they didn't like to line up very well, but I got it. Um, I'm going to lower this thing down, get some new spark plugs in it, uh, put on any of the stuff I took off. We're going to fire this thing up and see if it sounds any different and if it's running any better. Okay. It sounds good. Turn it back on. Uh, I'm gonna top off the oil real quick. No, fuck that, man. Let it run dry. <laughs> it's very smoky in here. Yeah, it's all the Cerakote just baking in. Hey, what t-shirt are you wearing right now? Show Don't me your t-shirt. Don't worry about Show it. Show me your t-shirt. Show me your t-shirt. I bet you it's the same one. This is my t-shirt, everyone. Matt, show me your t-shirt. We do this every fucking time. I want man. you to know I woke up before you today. I don't give a fuck. That's actually not true. You woke up before me. I didn't me. see you. You woke up before me. Yeah, so I win. <laughs> I win. <laughs> yeah, well, I got my shirt for $2,000, so. That's a fancy shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get the fuck out of You asked me to film, man. I'm filming. Okay, I need to go this direction. Thank you. <laughs> God damn. Yo, get a shot of my food. This is what champions eat right there. Yum, 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 yum. Fucking yum. girlfriend. Yum, yum, yum. Girlfriend yum, yum, made yum. delicious snacks right there. Tanner, this is not working. Oh, God. Wow, isn't that great? You wanna go on a ride with me after this? Not really. Do you okay. want me to? Fucking never mind. Man. I mean, if you want me to, I will. No, we are. I don't even have shoes on. Actually, I need to go to the gas station. So yeah, if we go to the gas station. Yep. Here comes our man. Look at that guy. I got all the snacks. All the snacks. Melanie wanted a root beer, so I was like, I want a root beer. And then Melanie was like, I want peach rings, so I got a Kit Kat. <laughs> Don't make it. Give it a beans! Nice. Yo! We didn't have hiccups! Yeah, your plugs were probably fucked. No hiccups! Hey! What's that? What's that up there? What's with the flashing lights? I don't know. That's exciting though. Normally my car would backfire and freak the fuck out. It's probably your plugs, dude. It probably was. That's fucking exciting. All right, we are back. And Chewy is back. So no issues. Chewy, I thought was running good. It's seriously broken. I thought it was running good. We switched some stuff. Uh, it seemed like it was okay, and now it does not sound okay at all. So we're gonna start it up for you real quick, just so you understand where we're coming from. This is the best sounding super. You know, before you start it, I would like to say every first start you've done for, for everyone on your channel has been of a rod knocked car. All of my cars make the best noises. <laughs> They've all had some sort of fun noise. So let me, I guess, let me know in the comments if you think Mitten sounded better or this one? I can answer that now, but I'll let them decide. <laughs> what? It. Watch it be gone. Oh, that'd be great. It won't be. Would it though? Would it be great? I don't know. It won't be. You ready? Yep. Baby rev, baby rev, baby, baby. That's Rodnock. That's fucking, that's certified Rodnock, Matt. That's fucking certified. If Rodnock came with a certificate, that's it. 
That's your fucking Rodnock certificate. I don't even beat on this car. Well, maybe you should have. Oh. You know, our boy Andre over at High Performance Academy made this thing about engine break-in, where as soon as an engine's broken in, it's literally all downhill from there. Yeah. So beat on your car as soon as it's broken in. I say don't even break it in. Just day one, just drive it how you want to, and it's gonna blow up anyways. I can't find the light. Uh, can I start tearing it apart? Yeah. Dope. Here. Why did you tighten your TGVs? Dude, look at this. What well, did you you're do? You're using a baby ass 12. Use a big what boy. What do you see? What is a 12? The voltage? Yeah, use a big boy. Big boy. He's a fucking big boy. I have the big boy, actually. Will you grab me the big to littler? Big to littler, yes. You know exactly what I mean when I say big to littler. Oh, I know. If this big boy snaps the fucking Wait, why are you using that big boy? You just said use the big boy. Not that big boy. You can use like a slightly less big boy. Nah, we're going all the way. Wow, look at that. Shut up, you nerd. Look at that, when you use the right tools. Shut up! <laughs> it's amazing. I've never taken it's amazing how before. easy things come out when you use the right kind of tools. I've never done this before. These are stupid. I'll give you that. Beautiful! Shut up. So Tanner is working up here on the top side. I have been crawling my happy ass underneath the car and trying to disassemble pretty much anything down there that I can get to. I would go under the car, but it's not mine. Yeah. So I felt like I'd leave that. I deep. feel like I'm I'm normally kind of the below the engine type person. So. Well, normally you just end up down there somehow. Yeah. You it's hate going down there, but somehow you always end up down there. <laughs> on any projects we do, you're always like, all right, Matt, I'll do the top stuff. You get down under there and... Mess with all that. Well, it's your car, so I feel like this time it's appropriate. This time it is appropriate. I will give you that. So we've got most of this stuff torn apart, uh, looking pretty good at this point. But we got to take a couple of other pieces off and keep going on it. Most of the parts off this car are going on to mittens, so all we're gonna organize all this stuff in the trunk real your nice. Your heads are like. fucking super clean, dude. I know. Look, the heads are exceptional. That's what's so sad about this is the car looks remarkably good how remarkably bad it sounded. So what did we learn? Just don't buy a Subaru. Hey, you shut your fucking whore mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy whatever car you want. Subarus are great, except for mine. All of mine blow up.
มาดูซิเราเริ่มมาดูยังแต่ Why five five eight two dot seven eight It's behind the starter Why I don't know I didn't design it Just like five out of that fucking side I was gonna say realistically the only things holding this together should be like two dowels Is everything else is like this I actually did I only did fucking five out of that five Yeah There's a lot. Five ATs have like 12 volts. Why? Who know. designed this? Some fucking dude that thought automatics were cooler than manuals. Hey, your flash plate's broken. Is it? Yeah. Really? That's broken. Yeah, I would explain it. That's broken. That's hella fucking broken. <laughs> Oh, that is hell. Oh, hell broken. <laughs> I don't think it's my engine. <laughs> well, hey, how many times did I say that? Was I right? You were right. I was right. It wasn't engine. I mean, it could still be engine, but we know for damn sure that it's at least a flex plate. That's fucking cool. I've never had that happen before. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, it's a flex plate. So we're not on my lines right now. Oh, I made popcorn. All right. Pull it over here where you can see it. Oh, oh we got rid of that. Okay. Hell yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> Update time! So tell me how my car was running. How was when, I driving? How was I able to drive like this? My flex plate is not even together. <laughs> like, Look at this, Matt. How was my car driving like this? Matt. Oh my God. Okay, done. You know what we're bringing to the 5EAT market? Billet flex plates. <laughs> <laughs> that looks bad. Well, we can find out if you have crank walk by taking off the timing and everything and then using a fucking pulley guy or a fucking pry bar on the bolt. Yeah. Oh shit. That's cool. Really dickered it. Really fuck that guy up, man. I wonder if there's like one pull that did this. I don't know. Car made too much torque? What do you think, Tanner? I think your engine's fucked. I can see that. I legit think your engine's fucked. <laughs> That's like, okay. We're not using it. I mean, it's already out. We're gonna just build a new like, one. I don't even know if I'd use these case halves. Yeah, we'll see. You legit ground down. You weight reduction your case half right here. I mean, that's really not yeah, nearly as much official. as everything else could have been. Grab your impact driver. Let's take this out. out. Oh, this thing, dude, you got it zoomed in. Hey, cool. Oh, man. We got to redo this whole thing. Yeah, well, you have in. to check your camera settings. Is oh. your microphone even on? Yeah. Oh, that's a first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to weld this back together for Matt, and we're just going to okay. we're just going to put this back in the car. So I'm going to weld this up. So this is what happened, if you can see on this, just, uh, you know, now that we're back from the rock, wood-fired grill. Pizza. Pizza? Pizza. That's what I said, Mel corrected me earlier, and it's she said pizza. now it's wood-fired grill. Pizza. I'm gonna go poop. You we do just that. got back from the rock, wood-fired pizza. Rock That's not away. supposed to be like this. I think part of the torque converter. Yeah, it's just like the little spacer thing. Well, so, if you ever have a noise that sounds like rod knock, it might not be. Could be your timing belt tensioner. Yeah, or it could be your flex plate. If it's an auto, it could be your flex plate. Yeah, that just totally decided to blow a hole through itself. And I mean, it was cheeching its way through the fucking cover pretty it quick. It did. The little wrist pin cover got ate up pretty good. So, gonna need one of those. But on Monday, we're gonna tear everything down, find out if anything on that engine's salvageable. All of the parts we took off of Chewy. Well, obviously, I'm reusing the heads. But the short block, 
We don't know. So I'm gonna swap all the parts we took off this onto mittens because that needs to be used to get that car running. And I need a car to drive. I can't. I can't keep sharing the cross trek with Sam. See, She's getting Matt's, a little antsy. Matt's a good old Shubaroos here. Only get him so far. Yeah. So that's all I got for you guys this time. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Well, what's your outro? That's it. Well, I don't have any. Woo! I don't have any of that stuff. It'll come naturally over time. Yeah, like shabalaba ding dong. See you later.